Hello, welcome to Spain and Spain TV Unity in Diversity. It is Tuesday, and you know that on Tuesdays we bring you the Healthy Tuesday session where we talk about so many health issues. We try and give you some uh, treatment, caution, advices, and also how you can prevent yourself from getting certain diseases. My name is Mabran Chanapo, and in today's episode, we are going to talk about glaucoma. I know you've heard of glaucoma before, or you've even seen someone who is blind. Before, do you know that glaucoma can actually cause blindness or it's one of the major causes of blindness? Let me not spill everything right now. Let's go for a quick commercial break for my sponsor, Sanders Healthcare. When we back, I'll give you the full story. Hello, Abusia for but Sunburst medicated powder. Now, hold your form. Hey, say when I'm in swans when yes, it's you never put me out at all. The back of my heart, so or don't tell me it's what's now. I'm a why I say a crow. It's like a career, a yum, a crow, a juniper, the elbow, so and no need. Sunburst medicated ointment, a bab wow. My possum, my possum, you wouldn't mean to tell me. Ya <laughs> Welcome back from that quick commercial break. Now, glaucoma, let's look at glaucoma. Glaucoma is a group of eye diseases that affect the optic nerve. Now, in the eye, there is a thin, let me say the word thread, let me use thread. There is a thin thread behind the eyeball, which is called the optic nerve. Now, when these eye diseases begin to affect the optic nerve and it begins to damage it, that is when you get glaucoma. Now, glaucoma can cause you to be partially blind or you can go fully blind and you would not see anything at all. At all, at all, at all. So that is why each and every time you need to visit the optician from him or her to have a look at your eye and see that everything is going on well with your eye. You know that as they say, the eye is the light of the body. Without the eye, you would actually be miserable in life. There are so many people on the street of Accra who are begging, not because they can't do anything on their own, but just because they can see now. There is no major cause or something I can say. When you get glaucoma, you can have pains in your eye. That is something that will tell you that something is going on in the eye. So having pain in the eye, having a headache, and also having red eye and the eye being itchy. Each time you feel like just, you know, scratching the eye like that, don't do it because you actually damage the nerves on the eye. The eye is grouped in three phases. The eye is grouped in three phases and the optic nerve that when it gets damaged causes glaucoma is in the far end. So when we keep on rubbing the eye like that, we keep on putting so many things in the eye, that is when we can get glaucoma. Now, in a video cited online, so people have actually taken their time to explain to us vividly what the types of glaucoma and what you can do to prevent yourself from getting glaucoma and eventually catching you blind. Now, let's watch the video. Glaucoma is actually a group of eye diseases that are usually due to intraocular hypertension or increased pressure in the eye, which damages the optic nerve and if left untreated can lead to blindness. Taking a closer look at this cross section of the eye, you can see that it's split up into different chambers. The anterior chamber includes the area from the cornea to the iris. The posterior chamber is this really narrow space between the iris and the lens. And then this larger vitreous chamber includes the space between the lens and the back of the eye. Not to be too confusing, but both the anterior and posterior chambers are located within the anterior section of the eye, 
while the vitreous chamber is part of the posterior section of the eye. Typically, each of these chambers is filled with fluid. The chambers in the anterior section are filled with a liquid called aqueous humor, and the posterior section is filled with vitreous humor. The aqueous humor is a transparent, watery fluid that's secreted by the ciliary epithelium, which, in addition to secreting aqueous humor and providing nutrients to the lens and cornea, it provides structural support and helps to keep the shape of the eye. So that fluid secreted into the posterior chamber, and then flows through a narrow space between the front of the lens and the back of the iris through the pupil to the anterior chamber. From there, the fluid flows out of the eye through the trabecular meshwork, which is a spongy tissue that acts like a drain. And this allows the fluid to go down into a circular channel called the canal of Schlem, and finally into the aqueous veins, which are part of the episcleral venous system, the veins around the sclera of the eye. In glaucoma, Part of this aqueous humor drainage pathway becomes partially or completely blocked, so that fluid can't easily drain out. This causes the pressure within the fixed space of the anterior chamber to quickly build up, causing intraocular hypertension, which is defined as pressure greater than 21 millimeters of mercury, or 2.8 kilopascals. This high pressure affects all the structures of the eye, including the optic nerve, which is the nerve that carries visual information from the eyes to the brain. And this means that over time, as the optic nerve gets damaged, glaucoma leads to vision loss. Now, there are a couple types of glaucoma. First, there's open angle glaucoma, which is actually the most common and it has this name because the angle between the cornea and the iris is open. In this type, the drainage system slowly gets clogged over time. And so there's this gradual increase in pressure on the optic nerve. This increase in pressure initially results in atrophy of the outer rim of the nerve resulting in a decrease in peripheral vision. As that pressure increases even more though, there's continued damage to the optic nerve, which eventually leads to a loss in central vision as well. Another type of glaucoma is closed angle glaucoma, also known as angle closure glaucoma or narrow angle glaucoma. And this is due to the angle between the iris and the cornea being too small, meaning that the passageway for aqueous humor outflow is too narrow and this is as a result of the lens being pushed against the iris. The result of this is that the drainage system gets blocked again, but this time causes a rapid buildup of pressure within the eye, which can cause abrupt onset of severe eye pain, eye redness, blurry vision, headaches, nausea, and visual halos. Finally, normal tension glaucoma, or low tension glaucoma, happens when the pressure is normal in the eye. The cause of normal tension glaucoma is largely unknown, although it's thought that the optic nerve becomes damaged due to hypoperfusion, or poor blood flow, as well as potentially genetic hypersensitivity to pressures that are even in the normal range. For diagnosis of glaucoma, tonometry can be used to assess for increased intraocular pressure. Also though, visual field testing can be done as well as looking for optic nerve damage, either through imaging or by direct observation. In particular, that pressure on the optic nerve results in a thinning of the outer rim of the nerve, which starts to give it this cup shape, and this is called cupping, and it's often seen in individuals with glaucoma. Even though glaucoma is not curable, it can be slowed with treatment. If the underlying issue is intraocular hypertension, then it can be managed by taking medications that decrease the pressure in the eye. This can be done in a couple ways. First, by decreasing the production of aqueous humor with medications like beta-adrenergic receptor antagonists and carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. Also though, you can increase the outflow of aqueous humor by taking prostaglandin analogs. Or finally, some medications both decrease production and increase outflow, like alpha-adrenergic agonists. In addition to medications, there are also laser treatments available. For example, trabeculoplasty is a treatment where a laser is used to open the trabecular mesh network, and this helps treat open-angle glaucoma. And there's also iridotomy, which uses a laser to punch a tiny hole in the iris, which helps to treat closed-angle glaucoma. And there are also other laser treatments, for example ones that destroy the humor-producing cells, which reduces the production of the fluid, and in serious cases, sometimes they can be used to create a new channel through which the aqueous humor can be drained out. 
And finally, there are implants that shunt fluid out of the anterior chamber by bypassing the trabecular meshwork and collecting system. All right, as a quick recap, glaucoma is an eye disease where a buildup of aqueous humor causes increased pressure in the eye, and this damages the optic nerve and can result in blindness. Yeah, so you can see that they have taken their time to explain everything into depth for us so that we wouldn't be found wanting any time that we feel something is going on with the eye, we need to visit the nearest optician so that they will look at the eye. Don't joke with your eye. Your eye is not something, that, that, you know, the eye is not like the fingernails that can be trimmed because it would actually grow back. When you lose the eye, Please, you can get an eyeball on the market to buy. You will go blind forever. So let's take a very good care of our eye and make sure that we are preventing ourselves from glaucoma because glaucoma, as stated in the video, cannot be cured, but it can be treated when it is discovered early. So when it is discovered early, it can be treated, but it cannot be cured. So let's stay safe out there and let's not take the eye for granted because the eye is the light of the body. I hope that this video is useful to you and I hope you like it. So if you like it, kindly tap on the like button. Give me that thumbs up there and also subscribe to this channel. Share this video to someone because you might not know whom you will be helping. Make sure that you also tap on the notification bell just beside the subscribe button so that as soon as a new video is dropped, you'll be the first to get it. My name is Mabrantianapo, and this is Paid as Paid TV Unity in Diversity. This episode was probably brought to you by Sunbest Healthcare.